The other part of the directive that I found interesting and kind of unique is that it targets U.S. financial institutions. So norm normally we're targeting U.S. persons in these directives. Um, the other directives and, and virtually all sanctions provisions really target U.S. persons, sometimes persons within, uh, you know, persons subject to U.S. jurisdiction, but just straight up targeting U.S. financial institutions as the as the may as, as the the named um, the named prohibition or the named subject of the prohibition is relatively new. And I, and I think it's kind of interesting. It really just kind of does go straight to the point. I mean, we know that that OFAC and Treasury and the sanctions community really have focused most of these sanctions on the, the world financial community, but really U.S. financial institutions have always been the main target in terms of compliance. This one just spells it out and goes after U.S. financial institutions directly. I think that's both interesting and, and, and a bit unique. Yeah, I, I would just to follow on to one of the points you made. I, I mean, one of the one of the sort of big picture questions that I would have, which I think we don't have answers, we won't have answers to for some time, is given that this is a, a you know appears to be a more nuanced approach to how to deploy sanctions, and it's not it's sort of a it's a departure clearly from the maximum pressure tactics of the prior administration. Um, Yet it, it again the sort of the underpinnings of what has now been put in place c could certainly be deployed quite broadly. Mm -hmm.